morning. It is a great day, and I'll tell you the reason why. This is North America's largest Bible prophecy conference. A one day event, basically from about nine to four o'clock in the afternoon. And we have been meeting people here in the hotel, and there's four other hotels in the area that have been filled up with people from all over the United States. Colorado, Texas, Iowa, Illinois, Virginia, Canada. But last night, uh, JD and I were walking into the hotel and we met a young lady who came from Geneva, Switzerland. Again, it's the largest Bible prophecy event in North America. I'm very excited. Last night, Amir and JD and I went to the pulpit in the darkness and the quiet moment of this uh, vast uh, sanctuary that we're going to be speaking of, 5,000 plus seats and we just prayed. It was an awesome time. So we're excited. Can't wait. This is my third time here, thanks to Jan Markell. And um, it is a real honor. Well, you know what? Let's do this before we even get yeah, into this parking lot. Please, line. yeah. Father, we just ask you, Lord, right now to dramatically, radically, powerfully, overwhelmingly so bless this conference. As John said a moment ago, the technology, Lord, around the world, people viewing, people logging on globally, 5,000 people gathering in a matter of an hour, Lord, to hear your word. They're hungry for your word. They're starving for your word. And Lord, we just pray that, that today would be a day that would make an eternal difference. Lord, we just, just commit it all to you in Jesus' name. So, J.D., how did you get involved? So, a number of years ago, Jan started watching my prophecy updates on YouTube and uh, reached out to me. I was so honored, you know, to be on uh, Jan Markell's radio broadcast. Yeah. So, uh, after that, she then invited me last year. It was my first year. I, I got to tell you, Jack, I, I was really not prepared for <laughs> <laughs> what God did and what I believe God's going to do uh, today, yeah. this year. 2014, I think it was, was my first visit here. Jan also had called and asked to be on the radio because she had been watching our, our messages online. Right. This is the premier... Uh, the largest gathering. conference in North America of its kind. Of its kind. Yeah. So just to think, though, in this region, this beautiful region of the world, there's people just starving for, yeah. Yeah. for the Bible. And how many people, we heard it this morning down in the lobby where people are saying, we don't have church in our community. We have churches, but they don't teach the Word. Right. They're not into the Word. They're right. not going through the Word. And so these people have driven from all over. Yeah. I have the speakers with me. I need to get them there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think we had 47 of the 50 states, as I recall, registered. Well, you guys are uh, just getting ready to leave now as the conference continues here uh, in the uh, Minneapolis area. I'm heading back home to, uh, to be with the church uh, tomorrow Sunday morning, but I, I just want to encourage you to be in the Word of God. We heard from so many people saying, I can't find a church that teaches the Bible. 
So stay in the word, do not depart from the word more than ever as we see the, the day approaching to the Lord Jesus. Get into it and hang on to it because God's hanging on to you, okay? So thanks again, we'll see you next time at our next episode, wherever that might be. God bless you guys.